Hey guys, Blue here and welcome to my guide to monotype team building. Um, I'll be showing off the main steps that I use when I'm building my own teams as well as finishing the video with an example team build. It's actually a team I've already built um, and I've had quite a degree of success with it and hopefully you'll be able to follow the steps in the video and come up with your own monotype teams and just have fun with it. Uh, so we start off with choosing your format. Um, obviously the format is going to have a huge influence on how you optimize your team. You're not going to find a lot of success for wide guard on your 6v6 singles team. So you want to choose a team that's uh, specifically designed for that format. But let's say you don't know which format you want to play in. Um, you're going to choose your favorite type in that case. So once you've picked your favorite type, you can consider what style you want to play. Or if you don't know which type you want to use, you can pick a style first and find the type that suits it. A uh, general rule of thumb is that the more type disadvantages your type has, the less likely it's going to be a defensive team and the more likely it's going to be offense instead. Mono water, mono normal, mono poison, to a certain degree mono dark, all do quite well as stall teams because they have lots of bulky mons and they don't have a lot of type weaknesses. If you're using ice or bug or fighting, you're gonna have a lot harder a time to go with a stall team and a much easier time if you go offensive because those are generally very offensive types. So after you've chosen your type, your style and your format, you're gonna wanna look at the type matchups. You'd wanna choose Pokemon with a secondary typing or ability that helps you get around the common weaknesses of your team. Um, in the case of Mono Water that we'll be using for our example, there are plenty of water and ground types that help get around the electricity, and there are plenty of water poison or water dragon types uh, that have the ability to get around grass type moves. And then you want to choose your first Pokemon. Now this doesn't have to be a Mega, although in my case it often is. It can be a fan favorite of your own, uh, simply something that you want on your team, you want to use it, and you can build the other five mons around it in order to complement its strengths and help cover some of the weaknesses that it has. So on to building the team. The first Mon in this team, since we're playing on, uh, we're gonna play with Mono Water, and the format is gonna be doubles, 6v6 doubles. And legendaries, we're not using them. So, sorry Suikun, you're not on this team. Um, first Mon we're gonna use is gonna be Politoed. The Drizzle ability, how to look through the team, why wouldn't you want it? You're playing in doubles, Mono Water, uh, the rain is obviously gonna boost all of your offensive moves, as well as giving you weather control uh, on your side of the field, and why wouldn't you want that? So Politoed's the first mon on the team. So for the second mon on the team, I'm looking at the rain and I realize I can use a swift swim Pokemon, so I'm gonna go with Kabutops. It's a fast physical sweeper, and mine uses uh, Waterfall and Stone Edge. You can swap that out, you can use Rock Slide as well because it's a doubles environment, and I like to go with Low Kick. It does massive amounts of damage to Heatran, Mega Kangaskhan, and it can even outspeed uh, Darkrai in the rain and be able to take it down. And now that we have two Mons, we have a physical attacker, we're wanna, gonna wanna use a special attacker, and I like to use Starmie, because Starmie can outspeed Mega Charizard Y and one hit KO it with Power Gem. Mine, uh, mine is actually boosted by Expert Belt, so it's four, four different attacks um, Hydro Pump, Psychic, Ice Beam, and Power Gem, so that it has something to counter. Megazard with, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic at it. It outspeeds it, it one hit KOs, and that's one of your hardest counters gone, and your opponent will never see it coming. Um, the fourth mon on the team, we need something to protect against electricity. It could go for a water ground type, but that's only going to protect itself, so I like to bring along my favorite, Sea King. Sea King has the lightning rod ability, it pulls in all electric type attacks on the field that are single target onto itself to boost its special attack. Um, mine is not actually a special attacker. Uh, I simply spam knockoff on my Seeking, um, but I'm using the Lightning Rod to protect the rest of the team. Um, obviously it's able to completely shut down Prankster Thunderous, which is everywhere. So uh, against the Thunderous Kangaskhan lead, you can open with Seeking and my next Pokemon being Mega Blastoise. A Mega Blastoise with Water Spout in the rain in doubles hits both opponents and does massive amounts of damage. It also has access to Ice Beam, Water Pulse, and Aura Sphere for some nice uh, fighting type damage. And it also can't be it also can't be evaded. 
So it gives you something to be able to hit minimize Chansey with, or uh, minimize the Fable, or, or any of those uh, evasion boosting Pokemon. And to round it all up, I need something that can synergize well with the rest of the team. I really need something that can support it. Um, what you could do here is go for Gyarados, um, bring in the Intimidate, Intimidate both uh, of your opponents. Um, I like to go for Cloitzer. Uh, it has a Mega Launcher ability, and with Heal Pulse, it's a 75% Heal Pulse. Pairing it alongside Mega Blastoise um, will give you the ability to continually heal it back up and go for full damage water spells. And uh, you can also breed Helping Hand onto it. Uh, so a combination of Helping Hand, Icy Wind, Water Pulse and Heal Pulse makes for a fantastic um, support mod. It's not a true support, you wouldn't think it would be, uh, but it is. It works quite well. So thank you for watching guys. Hopefully you can uh, follow along the steps in this video and be able to try out making your own teams. Um, and if you do, send me in your battle videos, I'd love to see them. And I'll even do some subscriber showcases where you can show off your own team in the battle spot and uh, let me see what you come up with. So thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time.